Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, it's nice to be here in the city of Perth today, Scotland's new city. Uh, so uh, you've chosen well in your timing uh, to come to uh, what is often a very beautiful city when it comes to their own flowers uh, when I've been up here during uh, the summer. Can I just uh, thank Trellis for their invitation along here today? Um, it's a pleasure to be able to come along and uh, join you at this particular uh, conference. I know that uh, Fiona and her colleagues have put a lot of work into uh, bringing this together. Uh, I see that the theme uh, of your conference today is People Grow Better in Gardens, focusing very much on the benefits and the contribution uh, that gardening projects can make to Scotland's health. And you may be aware that one of the ambitions of the Scottish Government is to make sure that Scotland is a healthier place and that people lead healthier lifestyles. You may be thinking we have got significant progress still to make in that, and you would be right, given some of the very significant public health challenges which we face as a nation. But I'm sure you would also recognise that we have been making significant progress in recent years. Uh, and that's uh, through the thanks of uh, organisations uh, such as yourself uh, and the work that you undertake in the health field, which we are very grateful for. Today's conference uh, gives you an opportunity to showcase some of the uh, work that's taking place in uh, very diverse settings, and I've no doubt uh, inspirational work uh, that's taking place in different projects um, across Scotland as part of the Trellis uh, Network. But I'm also aware there is uh, delegates, uh, the representatives here come from a whole range of different professional backgrounds, including some occupational therapists, my former profession itself. But despite the various uh, professional backgrounds that may be here, uh, you all share one common bond, and that is that gardening is a way of improving people's lives. The conference today will also provide you with an opportunity uh, for those who have an interest to share their own experience and to also share with others in the training workshops uh, areas of good practice that can be uh, taken forward within the projects that you work in yourselves. Uh, this type of uh, event also provides an opportunity for you to talk to a whole wide range of individuals, uh, to pick up in their experience, to hear about their issues and to hear about their concerns uh, and to gain an understanding of the uh, quality and the variety of projects uh, that are taking place right across the country. So it's a good opportunity to share ideas and uh, best practice to now, you will know that uh, Trellis uh, are a national Scottish charity which supports, promotes and develops the use of horticulture to improve health and well-being and life opportunities for all. It really does help to transform people's lives through the use of gardening projects. It has uh, over 190 frontline therapeutic garden projects taking place across uh, Scotland in a very wide range of settings from uh, hospitals through to uh, prisons. And these projects help some 5,000 disabled and disadvantaged people every week in hospital, in day centres, in colleges, in prisons, in allotments, and are very often at the very heart of many of our own local uh, communities. There's also a, a tremendous amount of work uh, that's undertaken by uh, Trellis in organising uh, networking events, specialist training days, uh, providing information service and uh, their helpline, and holding awareness raising events, but also providing guidance through uh, their own fieldwork team. And also the important research they carry out on looking at the benefits that these gardening projects can also uh, provide. Now, uh, Gardening can be the perfect anecdote to a stressful day. And I reflect on the time that I spend in my own garden at home. At times, often my wife would say, I don't spend enough time in the garden at home. Um, but I, uh, I recognise that gardening can be that perfect way to step back from what can be a hectic day of 
activities and can help us to forget some of the problems we may be struggling with at that time. But I also suffer from what's called gardening stress. That's the stress that's caused by my lack of knowledge about gardening, but my particular stress at the moment is that I require two tonne of whitstone cobbles for my garden. So if anyone out there has a spare two tonne of whitstone cobbles for my garden, you will help to relieve a large part of my gardening stress in order to get our garden finally finished after completely redesigning it uh, last year. But gardening can also be a, a powerful element in rehabilitation programmes and in speeding up uh, recovery from surgery, uh, stroke and from uh, mental ill health. And I well recognise that as a former occupational therapist. It can also improve the quality of life for people, particularly those who may suffer from conditions such as dementia. It can also offer new skills, uh, including numeracy and social skills, and can provide a, an alternative uh, future to those who have been offenders. Importantly, it can also provide a focus for communication, when communication can otherwise be difficult. So given the real health benefits that can be obtained through the use of gardening, it's important that in the present economic climate, the, the various gardening projects that are taking place across Scotland are able to diversify in order to survive the uh, ongoing economic downturn which we are facing, to make sure that they continue to grow and that they continue to serve the important purpose that they can play in delivering health benefits and life skill benefits uh, to those who are able to make use of them. So in uh, drawing my uh, remarks to a close, um, uh, it's been quite relaxing for me to think about my garden the way here uh, this morning to this conference, but I do have to go back to what is a hectic day of activities from a ministerial point of view. But I, I hope uh, in being here and what I've said to you today uh, that I recognise the importance that trellis and gardening projects can play in delivering on meeting some of the health challenges which we face as a nation. I'm aware that uh, Trellis have also been successful in securing some uh, £70,000 as well uh, towards the development work they're taking forward and to build on the excellent work they've also uh, carried out uh, to date. And as a government, uh, we look forward to continuing to work with Trellis uh, to support them and to assist them in the work uh, that they're undertaking across the country. And I wish you well with the rest of your conference today. Thank you very much.